Hi everybody, this is your host Nino and tonight's video is to atone for my great shame. For last time I noticed in some postings I promised to show you multiplication on the digger rule 2a. But the only thing I did show you was the addition of two 24 bit numbers. And now I shall be showing you multiplication indeed, admittedly of 23 bit numbers, but you know, that perhaps makes it more pleasant to the Illuminati. And anyway, today's video will be kept short because that requires, of course, significantly more assembly instructions. And I'm not quite sure that you're prone to sitting through all of them. You will find, however, a link in the description to GitHub where you can get the full program yourself in order to look at it and to peruse it as you deem fit. Now, what I would like to show you nonetheless, though, is the fundamental algorithm I resorted to in order to implement such multiplication. And admittedly, it's not something I came up with. This is something I believe I read in old assembly books by Lance Leventhal some two or three years ago. And you know, some of these things simply get to stick and this was really a good idea. So how can you do binary multiplication? The one way would be the most pedestrian way where you are adding bit by bit by bit like each number again and again and again. But you know, if you want to multiply two 23-bit numbers, that's gonna take a long while. The other one is to assume the nice binary property of the numbers, namely, each time you go for the next position, you're actually adding the other number once again by a power of 2. So you could draw up here, you can see my number, in a, in a, in a left shifted fashion where each time it gets multiplied by a power of 2. But where here are zeros, you do not actually use that number, you strike it, right? So if you want to multiply 26 times 22, you can draw up the 22 in such a fashion that you're having here the 22, you know, each time going forward one position, evidently filling it up with zeros, and then striking those places which correspond to a zero in the other number, and then finally simply adding up the intermediate results. Indeed, you may add them up simply pairwise, that is, add the one to the next one, then getting this intermediate result, adding it to the next one, and so forth for as long as your number is. And that, in the end, will give you the multiplication result. Now, evidently, we can make good use here of the algorithm for adding two 24-bit numbers also in this case, which I indeed do. And that is absolutely what is happening in the assembly language or machine language actually version of this thing. For I had no assembler here, I did everything myself with um, pen and paper. Indeed, <laughs> it did turn out to be quite a mess. So you see what, what really my efforts became tantamount to and what I would like perchance to spare you tonight. But you can see that all in GitHub in case you're interested. Now, multiplying 26 and 22 in order to get 572 is of course sort of lovely, but I have a much better proposition. Multiplying 2,796,202 with 3 in order to, get, uh, to gain 8,388,606, which is close to 607. That would be indeed the maximum number displayable in 
bits. I have, of course, already pre-charged that in my trusty Digirool 2A. And when I turn it on, yeah, the nice animation, and load the program from D7, which is exactly the program you'll find in the GitHub link. Here you can see already the first jump instruction in order to get over my variable declaration space. And there you see the jump target. Here already we're starting with the least significant byte of the 2 million whatever. The middle significant byte and the most significant byte. Note that there is one 10 here too little, right? So this is our first number. Then comes our next number, which is simply a binary three without any further ado. You know, other two are zeros. And we are now ready to do our multiplication. We return to position zero in the address field. And now we can just simply run our program. And in the blink of an eye, the multiplication has been performed. We can now go to position eight. And that's a binary eight, a thousand. We go there and you see the lit Christmas tree. This is its least significant byte. So one lamp is not a light. And then comes the next one where we're having the full Christmas tree. And the final one where just the top bit is missing. So thereby, I hope I have made good on you and that you're not all too disappointed. So there you have 24, or more specifically actually, 23 bit multiplication on the digger rule and I hope therefore to have satisfied all minds and wishes. I thank you very much for joining in tonight. I hope to greet you here soon again and from me goodbye.